When the Patriot Act passed the Congress and was signed into law by President Bush, Al-Qaeda was running around in flip-flops and pajamas and with a stack of RPGs, likely purchased with American debt. The mass collections of individuals, content, and data from Americans desperately required to root out the terrorists, we are told, is now weaponized into the control grid of surveillance so ubiquitous it's like the sunlight at noon. But wait, what happened to the terrorists? Baghdadi, Bin Laden, Zawahari, Al Zakari, they were all dead. ISIS is dead. When was the last time you heard of a suicide vest wearing Wahhabi walking into a sidewalk cafe loaded with American tourists? COVID killed tourism and we killed the terrorists, so what does the government do with all that data now? Where are they getting it from? There are no victims, just volunteers, and you need to understand something here, citizen. There is a new war on terror, y'all. And the new terrorists are y'all, Kata. Y'all, hey, duh. How are these emerging threats to your sacred democracy identified? outside the box in any way is suspect. You need to be very careful, my friends, because they ain't joking when they tell you the constitutionalists and people who love God and believe in truth and actual justice are the new threat. They have used the freedoms won to get their claws on the levers of power. And when they look into the camera and say, maybe we should send their children to re-education camps, they are not exaggerating. All they have to do is to put you on a list, find a single instance of you saying anything that isn't approved. You know, a recent poll has found for the first time in recorded American history, a majority of Americans now believe the greatest threat to the country, y'all ready for this, is their neighbors. A war on domestic terror is now commenced. If not declared, and your loyalty, your obedience, is now just as necessary as the money that lines your pockets. Hold fast to Liberty America, she is fleeting.